Let's get started with Maleficent Inspired Nails. Start off with your favorite base coat and apply a black nail polish on your thumb, index, and pinky finger. Then apply a green polish on your middle and ring finger. You might need a couple coats to get the right opacity. We are going to create a glitter ombre effect on the index and pinky finger. Using a dark green glitter polish, wipe the excess polish off the brush and apply it to the top two thirds of your nails. Next, take a lighter green glitter polish and apply it to the tips of your nails. Finally, using Revlon 230 Bonsai, apply a small amount of polish on a makeup sponge and dab it on the edges of your nails. This requires at least two coats. Well, well, it is time for the cartoon version of Maleficent on your middle finger. Using a black striper, create a foreground of her head by drawing a wavy line as her horns and estimate how you want her head positioned on your nail. With Americana paint, create the foreground color of her face. I'm not sure how to describe it, so the video gives a much better idea of how you want her face to be. With a light gray paint, draw lines on her horns to give it more dimension. Taking a Micron Pen 005, draw her arched eyebrows. Now use a purple paint and put on her makeup. Just a small swipe under her eyebrows and that should be enough. I noticed that her widow's peak of her head's dress was a little too deep so I shortened it with the same light green paint we used earlier. I also went over the purple paint to define where her eyes should be. Now draw the side of the nose, eyelids, and eyes with your pen. Dip a toothpick in a light yellow paint and create the color of her eyes and then add a dot with a micron pen for the pupil. You are practically done and if there are any imperfections use the green nail polish and dab it on the mistake and it's like it never happened. On your ring finger for Maleficent Scepter, use a dotting tool and use a green nail polish to create the orb. With the gold striper, create the staff that connects to the orb. This will need two or three coats. Dab the tip of a toothpick into a gold polish on the sides of the orb and the middle that connects the staff to the orb. Outline your scepter and you are done. For the dragon form of Maleficent, use the yellow paint and apply it on a sponge and repeat the steps of the gradient nails. This will become the fire in the background. With a black striper, draw a question mark like shape and if you like it, fill in the thickness of the neck. Extend the upper part of the neck to create the head of the dragon and horns like so. Now add spikes to the back of the neck. To create the mouth, draw guidelines in a V-shape if you are satisfied with how the mouth is positioned, thicken the lines. With a purple paint, line the outer part of the neck. With a light yellow, create her webbed fin on her jawline. Start outlining and draw in the teeth with your pen. Exposed part of her mouth with the yellow and dip the toothpick in a darker yellow paint once more and stipple in the tongue. Finally, with a pale green paint, add a dot for her eye. Once your nail art has fully dried, you may now apply your favorite top coat and you are done. If you like this video, please head on over to the subscribe and like button and share with your friends. I also hope you get a chance to see the new Maleficent movie with your new nail art. I hope you enjoy it. Bye!